Hello, my friend, Coach Jeremy Hirschkorn here at Jet Movement Academy, and I want to talk about uh, some reasons why uh, fitness programs fail um, and kind of give ourselves a little mental shift uh, to get around those hurdles um, so that we can be successful in, in, in developing the body that we want uh, to be able to do the fun things that we want and get the most out of our lives. And so on the graph here, we've got amount of time and the amount of effort, okay? And we're gonna look at three different ways um, that people mentally kind of jack themselves up and, and, and prevent themselves from getting the results they want. Yeah, so number one, if we look at the red line, okay, these are the people that never really get started because they think it's gonna be way too much work and there's no end in sight um, and, they, and they just don't even get started. If you, you can't succeed if you don't get started. So if it looks like a huge mountain to climb, people will just avoid it, okay? Number two, I'm gonna go down here to this uh, light green line, is they don't put in very much effort and they don't give themselves very much time. They expect immediate results uh, or have too high of expectations out of the gate um, and they don't really try very hard and they don't give themselves enough time, okay? That could also be you know, a lot of effort and not enough time as well, okay? Uh, the third one is closer to what we want, um, but it is going too hard for too long um, and eventually ending up injuring ourselves um, because we're just always trying to push the envelope to that next level. Um, that's another thing with high expectations or finally making that decision to get started and you're, you're gung-ho and you're highly intense and you go at it uh, and then you do that high intensity for too long uh, and you end up getting hurt and you fall back. And a lot of times people will do this in kind of a jagged zigzag, like off to the races, hurt. Off to the races, hurt. Okay, so the, all three of those, there are some merit to those, okay, but ultimately they end in long-term failure, okay? So let's look at what, what might be the case for, for each individual. It might be a hard mountain to climb right out of the gate, and you might have to put in a lot of effort, but what we need to look at is once we get over that mountain, we can find a maintenance phase, okay, where we can just kind of chill and feel good in our bodies. And we don't have to be pushing for PRs all the time or breaking personal records, lifting more weight, going faster. We can relax a little bit into a comfort zone that allows us to live the daily life that we want. And you know, it might be kind of like this at the end too, where, okay, yeah, I gotta kick my butt again and then I can chill and we can kind of go through some waves there, okay? That is usually more realistic of what, what people are gonna need. It's gonna be a hard hill to climb to get you started but if you can allow yourself some time and some patience, you're gonna get into a better place after that, okay? That is what we're hoping for, okay? You can also do that much more gradually. If you're really patient, you can allow yourself to have this kind of a curve and some waves, but it takes time, okay? I often talk to people about, um, if, I, if you were to come into the gym and do an assessment and I told you, it's gonna take two years to get to your goal, okay? But to a lot of people, that sounds like a long time. Two years, I want my results. I need to get going. I don't have two years to wait around to feel better, okay? But what if I told you you only had two more years to live? Then how would this feel? Would two years feel like a long time or a short amount of time? It would probably feel like a short amount of time. So if you're willing to be patient and give yourself that time and continuous effort to keep getting better, then a lot of good things can happen. Okay, so and moral of the story, manage your expectations, give yourself a realistic timeline, give yourself a realistic effort and, and allow things to happen and gradually progress them. That's kind of the name of the game here at Jet Movement Academy is progression, 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 over time, developing a lifestyle that's centered around movement um, and activity um, and living. Sound good? If it sounds good to you, let's get you through the doors. I'm in.